November employment report showing a gain of 199,000 jobs last month. That's slightly more than expected. Unemployment now dropping to 3.7 percent. That was versus an expectation of 3.9 percent. Average hourly earnings slightly hotter than expected. And joining us right now to talk about the impact on the Fed, which will meet next week. Former Boston Fed President Eric Rosengren. Good morning to you, Eric. Let's talk about it. You're seeing you're seeing the markets. Uh, well, I was going to say they'd gone down. Now they're now Dow about, Dow's back up about 31 points. But if you're Jay Powell and you see these numbers, do you do you say the job is over or no? You say the economy is progressing about as you would expect. So uh, we had a very strong third quarter growth. Um, most economists were expecting it to slow down. It was a bit of an anomaly relative to the two to two and a half percent growth we'd been seeing in previous quarters. I think this is consistent with an economy growing around two percent and with inflation gradually coming down. So from the Fed's perspective, I think this is a, a solid report. Uh, from the market's perspective, it's probably a bit stronger than they were hoping for. Uh, embedded in the bond pricing right now is some pretty significant rate cuts over the course of next year. I'd be very surprised if those are ratified, if we continue to get the kind of data that this report shows. So are you more in the, the Jamie Dimon camp, who's been quite vocal in the last couple of weeks? I interviewed him last Wednesday, uh, suggesting he thinks inflation is actually going to remain uh, stubbornly higher than I think uh, folks expect. And the idea that there will be rate cuts on the other side in 24 is something that I also think, uh, which is apparently the conventional wisdom in the markets, um, I think he questions. Yeah, so we're going to have a summary of economic uh, projections, and in that, the Fed's going to disclose what they expect for next year. The market currently anticipates five cuts over the course of next year. That would be a rare, very rapid cuts. That would be consistent with an economy slowing down more than the Federal Reserve would want. Um, probably not as pessimistic as uh, your reporting Jamie's comments were. Um, I would expect the SEP to probably have two cuts over the course of next year, uh, probably backloaded. I think the Fed is going to want to see a PCE core inflation uh, under 3%. Uh, it's still a ways away from that right now. And uh, I think it's going to be hard to get from um, a little bit below 3 down to 2%. So I think they're going to be moving fairly cautiously to make sure that they continue to make progress towards 2% as they get uh, through next year. So more of a, a two-year rather than the five cuts the market had previous to this report. Do you sit in sort of bafflement when you look at the market and you see where the market is expecting things to go and then where you think it will go? And and now that you're, you're, you're not in the room, do you feel like uh, how often have you been surprised at what's happened? So this report doesn't surprise me, and I don't think I'm going to be particularly surprised by uh, this next FOMC meeting. I'm not expecting much of a change. My guess is the statement doesn't change. Uh, it'll be um, a little less hawkish, probably, than uh, the previous statement, but only modestly so. I assume that the uh, FOMC is going to be a little concerned that uh, financial conditions are easing too quickly. And I would say that uh, traders seem to think that the Federal Reserve is a speedboat, uh, and actually it's an ocean liner. So uh, you should be looking more at trends and have the incoming data move the trends in a significant way. And I don't think the data we've gotten recently has done that. So data dependence doesn't mean you gyrate with every report. Um, probably when long-duration treasuries got up to 5%, uh, that was too high. And if long duration Treasury securities start getting close to 4%, uh, given my forecast, that's probably too low.